Today in the Smugglers Room, we're solving a huge problem for pet owners. We're combining Star Wars, hydration, and dogs, and putting them all into the used universe. So grab yourself a preferred beverage and a bucket of popcorn because that's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, and welcome to the Smugglers Room. This week, this chubby geek is bringing you another episode of Can You Star Wars This? And to top it off, we're bringing in the Junkyard Jedi himself to dump some seriously cool techniques into your brain pan. That's right, the man that started it all for me and taught me that nothing, and I do mean nothing, should ever be thrown away before you evaluate whether it can be used on a project or not, especially if it's Star Wars related. Today's project is a big one, and it's full of DIY goodness, tips, and shortcuts to develop the perfect way to upgrade your dog's hydration deployment system. So I hope you're ready for some ridiculousness and is excited and enjoy this as much as we did. Here we go. Now, this awesome tool is a double-bladed circle cutter. Each side of the bit are adjustable and it allows you to fine-tune the cut so that you can fit your material within the given size. Take our uh, little squares we made, put a little glue on them here. Even them up, we could use this on the side. That way it gets right out to the edge. That way you don't have to use clamps. They're all the same. As Adam Savage says, my friends, every tool's a hammer. happen to have this piece door handles simply juice lid take the cap out of the pillbox The outdoor electrical cover is aluminum, so it drills really easily. That said, I've already yelled at the Junkyard Jedi for not clamping down his material to his work service. Make sure you do that, geeks.
lazy putty on here. Take a piece of uh, this is drywall tape. What I do is slip it around about where we want it, put it on fairly tight, line it up with each other, and we'll take a pin, just draw all the way around. We have a nice perpendicular line here. Now, when we work with the sewer pipe, it isn't always perfect. So to get an accurate measurement, you can pop on a clamp so the pipe's diameter is good all the way around. Then you can get an accurate measurement. To which, of course, you no doubt have an old school wooden vintage compass for drawing a perfect circle, right? I don't want one of these in my shop. I need one of these in my shop. And in case you were wondering, yeah, that's an old shelf from a cabinet that's no longer in use. When I say we save everything, I mean everything. One other thing, the Junkyard Jedi can cut perfect circles on the bandsaw. Totally frustrating. When yours truly does that, they resemble more of an amoeba than a circle. Here's a new one from us, the homemade foam cutter. We haven't done this on this channel before, but if you're interested, we could show you how to make your own. Let us know in the comments below. We use the foam on this project also because it helps with weight, since this is a rather um, large dog bowl. We said ridiculous at the beginning of this project, didn't we?
observation cutout. So when we slip this over the dog bowl, we can tell where the uh, level of the water is. One of my favorite tips is the clamp method used here. This way you can cut smaller pieces safely on the miter saw without getting your fingers too close to the blade. Okay, so we have this top coil. Looks like a bunch of wires wrapped around this top piece. This is a 3D printer filament spool that's uh, emptied out. It's some uh, stranded number 12 wire. Don't think I'll ever use it for anything. You can't just fill all that up. So we'll put these spacers all the way around, wrap it in styrene, and then wrap the wire around that and make it look like it's all full. Okay, my favorite part of this build. Do you all remember CD or DVD cases? For your younger audience, this was before we started using USB jump drives for storage. You could buy multiple packs of CD or DVDs to write all of your data to. Yeah, the Junkyard Jedi had a few of these lying around because, well, one day you might need to make a moisture evaporator dog bowl, right? grit paper just roughs it up just a little bit to uh, help hold the paint so what we're gonna do is we're going to take a block of wood we're gonna turn it down so it fits in here and then we're gonna put this thing on the turning lathe and then cut this thickness down so it will fit inside the pipe
something for our little radar. My dog eats dog food and inside, when it's all done, is this plastic. I always hang on to a few extra ones in case you might want to make something out of it. Geeks, we hope you enjoyed this project as much as we did. Growing up in my father's shop, I learned a lot about materials, building, and life in general. And we wanted to share some of the amazing techniques and things he knows with all of you and bring a little extra from the smuggler's room. The Junkyard Jedi has a stockpile of ridiculous builds coming for future episodes. But until then, stay safe out there, be kind to one another, and in the words of my father, keep building something out of nothing. Glazing putty on here. Uh, better yet, we could just lift the lid and let them drink out of this bowl um, or I, I know you should build something uh, something out of nothing <laughs>